if you want to find uh, the stats from a previous post on Facebook, something that maybe is buried in your timeline, like here on Sun 106, we have a ton of uh, posts daily, so there's no way for something like a month ago I can go see what, what that did. So you want to go to the Insights tab and then Export Data. And here you can choose the date range. Uh, it gives you all kinds of options. There's a maximum amount of dates, but I'm not sure what, exactly what that is at the moment. And then once you have your dates selected, you're just going to hit OK. And then you can choose whether you want it to be an XX, Excel file or CVS, um, CSV. Uh, and then, like here, we're going to do post data, so we can look at actual posts. And then you can kind of change what actual data you want on there with the layout. It takes a second here to download. And this always pops up for me, and I was confused by this at first, but you want to hit leave page, so it'll pop up that little download there. You can go to your downloads folder, you can open this up. It's not going to show up here, of course. So, open it up in Excel or whatever your spreadsheet file is. And then once this loads up, there will be all your posts for the last, uh, whatever period of time you chose. There's all kinds of data over there to the right, which I'm not even going to show you, because it's not the best way to look at this information. But you can delete... Uh, cells that are not useful to you, do whatever you want with, with this actual form. But if you go up to edit and find, or it's control or command F on most computers, you can type in, let's say we're going to look for subhub posts, and we're going to say find next. And then you can do this for multiple photos or multiple posts, but we're just going to do this for this one here. Uh, say close, and then there's a link right here which you can copy, go back down to your internet browser, and paste it up where the URL is, and there you go. That's the post, and you can look at all your data down there, how many likes, uh, comments, and people reached, and all of that, which you can see all this stuff in the Excel uh, page, but it just looks better if you actually go to the actual page, uh, the actual link to find it. And that's how you go back far into your data and look at the insights from old posts.